went and you did your undergraduate at Stanford, then you went and studied um, medicine in Canada. That's right. And then you came back to Stanford and you started teaching here. Yes. So Were you teaching nutrition at that point? I started off teaching a class on children's health. And one day in 2011, a student asked me, what do you think is the biggest issue, the biggest concern or the biggest threat to our children's health right now in 2011? And I thought about it for a while and then I kind of came to the realization that the biggest threat, at least in North America, to our children's health is kind of the dysfunctional eating environment that they're growing up in. Because the culture of eating in the United States is such that it doesn't support a child's health and wellness. It actually sets them up for a lifetime of struggles with weight and with disease associated to their weight. And so I thought, if only we could find a way to change this culture of eating. Um, and then at the same time, I had a three-year-old at the time who you was... Had, who was very sick. I saw right. that in your TED talk. You gave an incredible TED talk. What were your thoughts when that happened? I mean, as a teacher of children's health, to have your own child be sick and for two months to have nobody really know what's going on, it's terrifying. And then finally, when we had an answer, when we knew it was celiac disease, and all we had to do was take the gluten out of his diet. There was no medication necessary. There was no surgery. What a blessing. It was a blessing yeah. in some ways. And we, we literally revamped the way we ate. The whole family started cooking together. And we were shocked and surprised by how much fun it was, by how it brought us together as a family, and how easy it was, even though none of us were trained chefs, we were both working full-time jobs, and yet we made it a priority because we had to. And the joy that it brought to us was something that I wanted to share with other families because I realized that we were eating together more and we were eating healthier food. And I thought if only we could share this with the rest of the world, or at least the rest of America, it would really be a wonderful way to in a positive way to address childhood obesity and fix the culture of eating in some small way. So then that put you on this path and, and what happened after that? So I decided to make a course, an online course. It started as a little course with some Stanford students and then we recorded some videos, basic videos, to show parents how to cook simple, quick meals for their families. What kind of meals did you...? Anything. Things like chicken nuggets, how to make a stir fry, how to fry an egg. We, we did the simplest things that you could do to make a child a nice, healthy meal from scratch in under 20 minutes. And we made a collection... It's a novel idea, but everyone needs it, right? Right. And, and the lovely thing about it is that most people have access to a kitchen. And increasingly, most people have some access to a source of fresh foods, like a supermarket. And so to really give those people the tools to take their health into their own hands was so exciting. And this course became what they call a massive open online course. And Stanford supported it and they said, do it, make a course that is a hybrid between nutrition, education and cooking and see where it goes. And I think people love the simplicity of it. They love the fact is that... Is it still offered? It, it's still offered. And how many... So it's free? It's free. It's online and anybody can and access how do it. And how do you access it? So we can tell the mothers at home who are watching, how do they access your course okay. and how long does it run for and so things like that. So the course is available on Coursera, which is an open online learning platform. Mm -hmm. You basically go on, it's only five hours of content, so it's very short videos. Each video is about four to six minutes long and it's little snippets of information. How do you shop better at a supermarket? How do you stock a kitchen to enable quick meals? Practical information like that for families. And anyone anywhere in the world can sign on and get this information. For from, free. You know, a Stanford doctor, nutritionist who's gone through all this with her own kids. So, so from you also are doing videos now. Do you have a blog? I think are you doing a blog and, and doing your own videos? Right, so we have a website for yeah. our nonprofit, Just Cook for Kids, and our mission is to create content for people that need it in places in the world where it so can important. help. And one of the places we're going next is South Africa, and we're leaving. You're in leaving a few tomorrow, weeks. right? That's right, yeah. 
So yeah. tell me about your not-for-profit in South Africa because I know that's where you're from and it's close to your heart. So tell me about yes. that project. So um, after I created the course, the online course, Stanford asked me to start helping them to recreate their medical school curriculum for their first and second year students. Wow. And we developed a, a way of teaching that used illustrations and narrations. So it was stories told through picture and voice. Just like when we were little, we all learn best through stories. Right. And I thought, imagine if we could make short videos that would support the work of outreach workers in South Africa and other parts of the world that are under-resourced. And so we made videos based on the curriculum that they're already using, and we made it in the language of origin. So oh, that's great. each video is tailored to the needs of the outreach workers, and we'll see how that experiment goes. So when you go, are you gonna go into, into the villages and actually show these to people? Or? Well, I won't be doing the teaching. That'll be the job right, of the outreach right. workers. But I'll be meeting with the teachers and providing them and with their tools them. and showing them how to use the tablets and things like that.